Hey guys, it's Bear. It's Friday, July 17th. This is Life of T-Men. Um, I wanted to start off this video by saying that we've got a question and answer uh, video coming up. All our topics are, are laid out until like week 54 or something. Um, and so we have a question and answer uh, video coming up within the next kind of two months or so, I want to say. And so we're asking people to send in some questions, you know, comment on the videos or uh, send us a message or whatever with questions about uh, anything you want to ask as far as I'm concerned. You know, you want to ask me about anything in my, my background, uh, trans specific, you know, um, I don't know, whatever, the process of getting on, on hormones and transitioning or how things have personally affected me. Um, I don't care, you know, send, send it along and it'll probably make it into the, into the video. So please send some questions. Um, this week's topic is the T word, tranny. I don't really have tons of opinions on, on the word. Um, I'll just say that it's, it's a slur and therefore my advice around it is is don't use it you know um, when you say something you know you put an energy out into the world and so if you say something uh, just you know to a friend and it's private that friend may have a feeling about it you know and you've just you've just kind of projected yourself in a certain way um, I've been in public places, you know, I, I pass pretty well as male. I don't get misgendered in public very often. Uh, but I have been in places where somebody else is talking about it. Um, and you sit there and you think like, man, you know, you just, you just sound ignorant right now. And if anything, it, it makes me almost want to go and educate people, you know. So I would say in general, it's considered a slur. It's considered hurtful to many, many transgender people or allies of transgender people. And so I prefer the world not to use it. Now, personally, I actually use it to describe myself from time to time in a friendly context. And I know that there's other groups of people that use slurs about themselves in the same way, you know, or even in a more powerful way. And you know, fine. Um, if it's said in a moment of anger, which has never happened to me, by the way, I've I've been called a dyke in a moment of anger, and I've been called a faggot and a gay ass in a moment of anger, and uh, but nobody's ever called me a tranny, and it actually made me laugh really hard. I was uh, I was actually breaking up a fight one time. Uh, not too long ago. It was only a couple of months ago, so it was post-transition. And uh, this woman said, uh, you know, she yelled at me like, oh, you dyke, you know? And I just said, you're, you're confused because I'm not, I'm not a woman. And she said, well, fine, you gay ass. And I just had a kind of chuckle to myself because both times she had actually missed the mark and, uh, and had no idea that I was transgender and... You know, I just thought, wow, if you really knew what you were talking about, uh, you'd call me a tranny. And I just kind of chuckled. And, and neither one, ni you know, the first two things she called me, neither one really, like, hurt my feelings or anything like that. I was more concerned with breaking up this fight and getting this person to leave, you know. Um, back in the day when I presented as female but not feminine, I presented pretty butch, um... I had multiple people use the word dyke in different contexts, and it affected me differently depending on what the context was, you know. I was in somebody's way one time, and he kind of shoved me and said, you know, get out of the way, you dyke. And it was bad. I, I had a pretty emotional reaction and, you know, had to kind of walk away from it, you know, and not chase the guy down and start a fist fight because that's something that I avoid doing. Um, I had someone else one time giving me professional feedback about getting my career off the ground and 
they said to me, you know, you might want to think about your presentation because right now you come off as a stereotypical man-hating dyke. And once again, the word didn't offend me. I wasn't hurt, you know, or anything like that. If anything, I thought it was really kind of just funny because... You know, here we are having a professional conversation, and you just used an incredibly unprofessional word, and as though it was just the most normal word to be using, and that's really the only way it affected me, other than the fact that way back then, you know, and this is a conversation that happened in 2011 or 12, and uh, way back then I was already starting to um, express myself as more gender non-conforming and gender queer and really starting to own my butch look. Um, and so, if anything, it affected me more because they were saying that that wasn't okay, and that bothered me, you know? And I, I addressed that part of the conversation um, and let the fact that they used this slur go. So, you know, that's that's my thoughts on it. It's not it's not a lot. Um, I avoid using it in in public. You know, like I said, I may refer to myself that way in a joking way, but I would never say it to another trans person unless they, I knew that they felt the same way about it. And um, you never know who's near you, who's listening. So unless you want to come off, you know, as an ignorant person, don't use ignorant slurs. And that's it. Thanks, guys. Uh, please send in your, your questions, and we'll try to address them in a couple of months when we do our Q&A. Have a good one, and I'll see you next week.